I was going through all of my most recent video comments and I noticed that there was a cluster of fresh comments on a video that I made months ago showing offset from Migos wrecked Hellcat Challenger at an Atlanta salvage auction. They had said that I made this story all up. The uh, Challenger that I was showing at that auction was not his car and that's because his car was parked at his album release party which was just a few days ago. Now when I made this video months ago I was certain that the car that I was featuring here was Offset's car but I had no clue that he had a wrecked Hellcat and possibly his wrecked Hellcat parked outside his album release party and my mind kind of exploded. I thought for a second, is it possible that Offset bought his very own wrecked Hellcat Challenger back from a Copart auction? Now the time that I was out and looking at this car was right around within a day or two of the same day this car was actually sold at auction. And it sold really cheap at around $10,000. I'll get to a little bit later why I think that this pile of wreckage is worth $10,000. But I had to get down to what was going on here. So the first thing I did was do a quick Google search Offset album release party wrecked Hellcat and there were a ton of different social media videos that were posted a lot of them pretty poor in quality and a lot of them only showing a second or two snippet of this crashed Dodge Challenger sitting outside of where he was hosting his party. Now even though you only get a quick glance at this car in these videos, it was pretty apparent to me that the car that I featured in my video and the car that was parked outside of his party were two separate cars. The best display of this car was found on somebody's Twitter page where they actually took two still shots, one from further away and one closer up, of a green Hellcat Challenger that has a lot of differences from the car that I saw at the salvage auction. So even from this far out picture, there's quite a few differences. Just going off a of memory of the car that I saw at the salvage auction, the first thing here is that these wheels are silver, and I'm pretty sure that the car that I featured had uh, black wheels. Also, the rear bumper in the auction car was completely removed. I don't even think it was attached. I don't even know if it came with the car. This rear bumper is intact and attached to the car. There's a lot of things going on here, but the big one is the hood. The hood was wrapped a matte black on the auction car. This one obviously isn't wrapped. Now let's say they remove the wrap. The damage is quite a bit different. If you look at the hood here, even though this hood is damaged severely, it is pretty flat in most areas. The one that we saw at the auction, it was crunched. It was folded almost in half. The other big thing, I don't remember there being this much, if any, damage to the roof area. One last small thing, there's no Hellcat badge on this car. I'm pretty sure that this Challenger is not even a Hellcat, the one that is parked at his album release party. Now still, this doesn't confirm which car is the right one. So what I did before I went and looked at my video is I just looked up the original news stories from when he crashed his car and all the photos that are on reputable news sites show something very similar to the one that I saw out at the Copart yard, a car that had, again, this crunched in front hood with a really nasty fender, that windshield glass that just was smashed all the way through, parts sitting on top of the rear trunk and those black wheels. This is most certainly the same car that I featured in my video months ago. Now if you haven't checked out that video, I go through this car in pretty great detail and also check out a lot of other cool cars that were at that same Atlanta salvage auction. You can just click the link above here. Now one of the funny things is these videos that are showing the outside of the album release party with the car park there and the title of the video is something along the lines of Offset Brings Wrecked Hellcat to his album release party. There are people in the comments section saying no that's not his car because we saw it in the video that Sam Crack posted a while back. So of course there's people going back on both sides but I just did want to make sure and confirm that the car that I was looking at was indeed his car. Car. And to touch on the price for just a moment, you guys have probably seen me use this site if you follow my channel. It tells you the sale prices of all the auction cars. This car sold for only $9,600. I say only because there's one really redeeming factor here and that is this right here. Your engine is still pretty much intact. Yes, the cooling system is destroyed, but these parts are really readily available and pretty inexpensive in comparison to what an engine and transmission assembly for a Hellcat would sell for, probably something north of $20,000. 
once you get it running, of course. Now, the other interesting thing, something that I didn't know about until I went and looked back at this listing, is that the person that bought this car flipped it and they made a couple thousand dollars. It doesn't look like they really did much to it. We'll see here if they cleaned up the interior. That was one of the big things. The interior of this car was just destroyed since the glass had been broken. All the elements and the water and the rain and the mud it just took out the interior and really made this thing a mess, but somebody was willing to pay a little bit more for it. They still got a decent deal. But in the bigger picture, what could this car be worth to a wrap memorabilia collector or maybe even Offset himself. Again, the subject matter in the album is there. Would he want this car? It's probably in pieces already and been discarded most of it. But a lot of people don't know that they can retain these cars. They can buy these cars back at auction. And that there's still some value to it even though it's really destroyed. The car that Tupac was shot in in 1996, it's a BMW 7 Series, has actually been for sale at a Las Vegas dealership a long time now. They're asking 1.5 million dollars for it and it's probably not worth anywhere near that but since this car does have some historical value maybe it's worth a lot more than what the insurance company probably totaled it out for and that possibly could have been the case with Offset's car. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think that car is worth substantially more than $13,500 what it sold for last? And I'm wondering if the person that bought it even knew the history to it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe learn something from it. If you did, be sure to give it a big like. If you have any interesting auction cars or any car stories out there whatsoever, be sure to drop me a line. My email is in the description box below. I feature these cars. This is a segment called the car of the day. So one that you sent in that might be interesting enough could end up on one of these videos. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can go right here. Just click the link as well in the description box where I'm posting a lot of pictures of my upcoming and current rebuild projects that, again, I feature on this channel. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching today, and I'll catch you very soon. door won't even open up all the way we don't want to push it because someone's gonna buy this car but likely just for parts we have the seat airbag blue on this side clearly and there's just stuff thrown everywhere there's change on the floor got this looks like a headlight or a tail light let's see here oh there's glass on all the seats they shoved as many parts as they could back here and uh, you can see over there, curtain airbag. We'll go to the driver's side in a second. But with the car being open likely for a long period of time, see the windows are cracked. Just all sorts of dust, dirt. It's been rained on, it's wet on the floors. Suspension looks all cockeyed too. Let's check out what's inside the trunk. Uh, more parts. It's a pair of someone's socks right there. Cigarette, ashtray, drink bottles everywhere. Trunk doesn't even close right. So definitely water got in here a little bit. This is the scariest part of this car. There's glass all over the seat. There's stuff all in here. Now could you imagine, this thing was hit so hard. The trim was popped out of place. The cluster, the plastic cover that's over the cluster is completely shattered. I mean, this stuff went everywhere, glass. Man, it's amazing that he was able to get out of this accident as, as well as he did. This is a really banged up car. Well, this door, driver's side door closes all right.